Maybe. I'll do a full tour after we get the tent set up. <laughs> Open Air Outdoors. Uh, show you that right now. So that's the bow, that's the stern. Alright, so the difference is you got room for your legs in the front you sit right so if you sit here you can only sit facing that way yeah. so if I'm paddling it by myself I have to sit here facing the other way uh, so that's the bow and that's the stern a little bit heavy uh, just a tiny bit Okay, it's official, we're on the water. John and I are on a little canoe trip. Four days. So we just took off from uh, an outfitter. I made arrangements with uh, an outfitter to have my truck dropped off at our takeout location. So we got a paddle, a lake travel today, and need to find a campsite tonight. Uh, my anticipation is to paddle all day today or a good part of the day find a campsite and then tomorrow will be uh, met with a portage so thanks for joining I have some fish to catch some land to explore and some beautiful weather to enjoy John are you ready for it yeah, yeah John's ready yeah. Well, that looks like another tight spot over there right eh? Like it. We'll see. Maybe we'll be able to get Now we really. Oh, right. Oops, shallow water. Okay, I'm gonna go to the left of that rock. And you keep an eye out for me. Let me know if we're gonna bottom out or what. I think it's a good time to uh, stretch our legs a little bit. I'll get out and I'll pull it closer. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to dig out my water shoes. I'm going to switch into my water shoes and uh, come out with you. Well, just an update, John and I pulled over. They're narrows, very shallow. Let me give you a quick look here. Water levels are low right now. It's quite evident. But it was time for a quick snack and uh, stretch our legs. We had one uh, one mishap in the form of we took a wrong turn. This lake that we're traveling is full of uh, channels and islands, inlets, so it's pretty easy to get confused. But we're back on track. We're gonna finish eating a little bite to eat. Just some straw. Yeah, you want some strawberries? And then uh, hopefully we catch some fish. Haven't caught anything yet. We've been concentrating on paddling more than anything else. Over here. Yeah. Right, and then tomorrow morning, that portage actually sorry the portage ends right there from here to here okay. and then that's river yeah i was thinking that's gonna be one <laughs> yeah no <laughs> that's the plan you know yeah well i knew i knew day one would be long these small islands sure. very irregular shoreline How's it look up ahead? Uh, that rock. 
Push. Push, push, push. Man, that water is low. Boy, this part of the lake is uh, very picturesque. All these uh, inlets all over the place there. Beautiful area. Good. So I tried to, I decided to buy this life straw, which is very similar. And it has a few features in it that I like better than the bee free. This is one of them right here. The fact that you can put the filter on the end, on the outside of the bag. What does that change? And now, well, this is a filter, right? It filters out all pathogens. Not, it's not just like a dirt filter. It's actually we'll filter. And tomorrow we're gonna portage from here to here and that is about uh it says 800 meters right mm. so 0.8 of a kilometer i'm thinking what we're gonna do we're gonna bring uh the two biggest packs first mm. that way if there's any uh any trees across the trail or whatever it'll be easier to uh, clear that than carrying the canoe right <laughs> So just an update for everyone. The day went quite well. Hey John, when you say the day went quite well? Yeah. The only, the only hiccup we had is uh, I took a wrong turn on the map, and but we, I caught it pretty early. So we got, we had about an hour delay. Had to turn back around and uh, get back on course. Oh, wasn't, it an hour? wasn't, you don't think so? an hour I'd say that was more like half an hour 45 half. minutes oh okay he figures half an hour 45 minutes and then uh, we had a headwind all day long that's the only biggest thing and now we don't have a good campsite and uh, we looked and looked and uh, disappointing there's no established campsite and in a way it doesn't surprise me because this part of the lake that we're on the shoreline are sheer cliffs they're not like super tall cliffs. In some cases, they're only uh, maybe 10 feet. But when you're in a canoe on the water and you got solid granite cliffs coming off the water, you can't get off. So it was very difficult to find a place. And uh, we got a place here and we're making do on this tiny little rock island. And when I say making do, we're just making do. It's a good thing we're only doing a quick overnight here. This is not where we're camping out or staying for a while. So we're just gonna camp out here tomorrow morning we break camp we know where the portage is we already found it and uh, we're gonna go back and uh, go back there tomorrow so tomorrow we're gonna pack like all our fishing gear and uh, everything right we're gonna pack everything snug as if we're ready to go to the portage because the portage is only uh, maybe half a mile up the lake here so we're gonna make do the wind is picking up a little bit again but we're gonna gather some uh, dead twigs make a small fire we're not gonna make any big campfires tonight we're pretty tired we're probably gonna go to bed early but we still have supper to make so let's uh let's get organized for supper what do you have to say yeah yeah all right <laughs> all right let's do supper so hold it like that the flame goes up right so hold your it's on fire. Drop it. Drop it. All right. Make sure it's lit proper. That's Car that. Dry caribou moss. Excellent fire starter. Excellent fire starter. Let me skip this bit a bit. That's my mom's rule for whether or not she yells at me if I Missing one uh, mulch. Yeah, I grated a little bit in my hand. Nope, the cheese. I grated the cheese in my hand. <laughs> turned out way better than okay. That turned out amazing. Put it 
it in there. There you go. No, but really some nice. There you go. Nice and fresh this morning. Can you let me know when to stop? Uh, more. Uh, just a teensy weensy bit more. There you go, like that. Just like that? Yeah, I think so. Okay, you'll have to get yourself a fork and stir it up. I woke up last night several times and uh, the moon was out, not a cloud in the sky. As you can see behind me, it was like that last night. The tent was completely illuminated. I woke up several times, dead quiet, dead still, no wind. I could hear one owl at one point. That was it. It was such a still night. It was absolutely gorgeous last night. Great to sleep. Did you sleep good? Yeah. He woke up several times, but I didn't hear him. I was up a lot last night, but I, I slept you. good. You heard me snoring, you said, eh? Yeah. I know I slept good, but I did wake up a lot. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna finish my breakfast. I gotta do my coffee. We have to load up, reorganize ourselves. And today when we load up the canoe, we're gonna pack everything nice and tight and snug because we know we're gonna be portaging in a matter of just a few minutes once we hit the water. Yeah. So we won't leave any loose things in the canoe. Everything will be tidied up. All right, we'll see you back on the portage. No, it doesn't. Well, we may do. But now it's time uh, we're off, so off to the next leg of the trip. Let's make it to that portage. So, obviously we're on the portage trail. And uh, John is getting a bit of a workout there. My neck really hurts. Yeah, you're, you are a pain in the neck, so I'm glad your uh, neck hurts because now you know how I feel. <laughs> All right, so far the trail is actually quite good. Um, I'm really happy. It started off a little bit rough, but uh, we're just getting started. So there's a lot of trail left to do, so remains to be seen. But along the way, I'm going to see if I can get some shots here. Got a beautiful, beautiful forest to walk in. We got some nice scenery on some exposed bedrock. So we gotta push on, get to the other side, come back, get the canoe and one other pack. So let's go do it. You ready, John? Ready or not, here we go. Here we go. So we're sitting on a log. This is a prime opportunity. We got some really heavy packs, especially this pack here that I got, I got all the food and some, a lot of other gear in here. It is really heavy. So I'm straddling a log here. Let's see if I can get, straddling a log and uh, having the pack sit right on the log. 
takes 100% of the weight off. A good time, good place to uh, take a drink and a five-minute breather. I'm going to say we're halfway through, John. I don't really know because I've never been here. I'm uh, This is my first time in this area. And this is an actual canoe route, part of a very long canoe route. So I uh, plotted this small section. And so far, I'm impressed. There's a couple of tricky spots in the trail. When you go back to the canoe, it's going to be a little bit tricky with the canoe uh, because of dead fall. But uh, overall, it's uh, excellent. Very good. I can't complain about the trail right now. John, on the other hand, has a few more complaints, though. Hey? Pack heavy. Pack heavy. <laughs> pack heavy. Second load would be easy. Yeah. You got a very light pack on the second load. <laughs> Much better than the first round, eh? <laughs> I did that on purpose. God, that's good to take that off my shoulders. Perfect. Okay. Am I still clear? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Perfect. Once we're loaded up, we're back to paddling. Let me turn this camera around and give you guys a shot of what we have ahead of us. Are you going to be stupid to go right back here? Are you going to bite me again? There you go. Oh, yeah, it's starting to get shallower. Yeah, well the water is low right now. It's that time of year where the water is low. And we may have a lift over to do just up ahead there. I think I see some beaver activity. Oh, the water ain't warm this time. Yeah. Ah, frick. Yeah, you're gonna sink. Well, there we go. Yeah. All right, I think we can back, get back in though. Yeah. Oh, shit. Ah. There you go. I got my pants wet. No problemo. Yeah. 
Either that or we portage the canoe and go over right here. Empty out all of the canoe. to bring the water level up because what they want to do is they want to flood the forest right so when the level goes up they flood the forest and once the forest is flooded they can swim out into the forest and get food look at that it floats itself you think it was like a canoe Unless they want to drag a small aluminum boat. You, you go up ahead and catch the canoe. I'm going to let it go at you. Okay, you ready? Go off to the edge. Perfect. Okay, let's do it again. I'll hang on to it. You go up. Oh, that looks nice. That lake looks real nice. We made it. To the lake, that is. Ugh. Nice to get out of the river, right? Yeah. The river was nice, but it's nice to get out of the river. Uh, I wouldn't say the river was nice. I'm on it. Wait. What do you say, John? It's time for a break, eh? Yeah, I suppose so. We've been battling some pretty strong winds coming up on the lake, but now we've reached a uh, an area of the lake where the wind is at our favor for once and we're drifting towards our campsite i'm looking at it right now i'm pretty sure that's it there's an island down the lake and it looks like it has a campsite i'm targeting so our lines are finally in the water first time today and uh, we don't care right now we just want to make it to shore probably grab another bite ain't eh, john Grab another lunch. Maybe we'll make some wraps or something. Get some energy back into us and then set up camp where we're going to obviously sleep there tonight and then uh, spend the entire day tomorrow on this lake. We're going to paddle, explore, and fish the lake. It's a beautiful lake. And the day after that, it'll be a long trip out of here. But so far we're doing good. We came out of that river. That river was pretty hot. It's nice out here. And uh, yeah, it's nice to finally be able to give my arms a break. 
There you go. There's no teeth on that knife, so it's not a saw, so you want to push as you're slicing. No. You, yeah. you don't want to stab that in your hand, right? All right, so we're having a couple of wraps. John is working on his second one. He's going to make his own. And yeah. we're on our campsite here. We're not set up yet. We were hungry, so we're eating. I'm going to give you just a quick tour. I'll do a full tour after we get the tent set up. And of course, the fire pit is a complete disaster. We're going to have to work on the fire pit. Seems like that's an ongoing story for me. Everywhere I go, I have to remake the fire pit. How's that for a nice view? Well, if I didn't, uh... um, those who have been hanging out on my channel for a long time, you'll notice this is a new canoe. It's a new acquisition for me. And it's 16 foot prospector. Awesome canoe. Works out great. So we got our uh, kitchen area. We got John chilling in the hammock. And then uh, we get up top here. We set up a tarp just to hang out underneath if you want to be in the shade or we have a possibility of thunderstorms tomorrow evening so if we need to hunker down. Got our tent set up in the back over here. And then back over to the front we got a nice bench to sit on and a fire pit as, and we cleaned that all up. Moved the rocks around. Had to use a canoe paddle as a shovel and dug it out. So that's ready for later on tonight. Got a little pile of firewood. It's getting to that time. It's uh, early evening. Good time to hit the water and do some fishing. I want to get a wet line out there. I haven't caught nothing today, so I want to change that. So let's hit the water. Is there a way to make them stop flopping? Oh, stole my line. Bye bye, buddy. So we're not catching any fantastic fish here tonight so far. Little bass, that old pike. But we're out here, we're having fun, and we're going to keep trying. I always say, if your line is not in the water, you're 100% guaranteed to catch nothing. So we're going to keep trolling the shoreline and enjoy the, uh, the evening. That's your first catch of the day. Yeah, it is too. It's recorded? Yeah. I got Mr. Bass here. Oh, okay. guy. I don't think we'll keep him. No. Are you okay to take that off? I'm just waiting. You're going to have to give yourself some slack. So yeah, we were just fishing and we saw this rainbow. That's a nice thick one. Yeah. But oh, there's double. I see a double rainbow. Oh, it's a double rainbow too. Look at that. Oh man. Not too often to see that, huh? Okay, stop reeling. I don't know where your line is compared to mine. Yeah. <laughs> mine is wrapped around it. Oh, all right. Look at that guy. He's huge. Goodbye. He's uh, he's not as big as I thought he was gonna be. Hello. Goodbye, buddy. And he's off. Hi, okay, so we're enjoying a little bit of uh, chicken fried rice. Very good. Very tasty. It's been a long day, so it's very enjoyable. Now things are getting dark. The camera doesn't really show it all that well, but it is getting dark. We're having a late supper. What, what time is it? by the way uh it's like 
eight to nine. Eight to nine. But uh, we went out fishing and we caught nothing of great value, which is okay. Tomorrow, on the other hand, we're going to hit that lake. We're going to hit it hard. Pack a lunch with us. We're going to head out. This is a big lake. There's many islands and inlets. We're going to go explore them and fish it hard. Hopefully, we bring home something to fry up on the campfire. What do you think? That's good. We're going to give Look at that, it's like two thirds the width of this canoe. Wow, that is what it's all about right there. You know what? I love my walleye, but bass like this, come on. Seriously? All right.